What is going on today guys? My name is Kamikaze Redneck, bringing another video on Farming Simulator 2017. Today we're going to be reviewing this Ford F450 Rapid Response uh, unit here. It is a uh, diesel, um, labeled as a 6.7 Power Stroke, sounds like a Cummins, um, kind of interesting. There's like a weird kind of plow setup almost, but I don't know if it's a plow, but um, yeah, let's see. Let's let's test that. Uh, I want to find out here. Let's see. Uh, what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Plows. Oh, wait, not that kind. Oops. Let's see here. We'll do a western. Okay. We'll see if that actually does work for that. Um, this strobe light setup is um, toggleable. Uh, is that how you would say that? Um, let's see here. Oh, it does! That's sick. That's interesting that it doesn't work. Hmm? That's interesting. It doesn't. Okay. <laughs> you put a winch on it, but you don't make it work. Like, a, whatever. Seems kind of interesting, kind of weird. Like, you don't put a full headdress on it either. Alright. Um, well, anyway, let's see. It's a really cool truck, I must say. Definitely, uh, really sick. Uh, let's see here. Yeah. Alright. Uh, let's see. Let's just put it like this. Alright. So, um, let's see here. The, uh,. Light bar on the rear lights up too, which is pretty cool. Well, uh, there we are. It um, I guess it lights up like the high beams and the LED light in the back too. It's kind of weird, but uh, I mean, whatever floats their boat, I guess. Um, cool. It's got the dual pipes on the back on each side going to duels on each side, so like four out. Uh, overall sounds really, really nice. I like it a lot. Um, let's see here. Looking to see if we can tow this tractor here for some, I wouldn't say, what is it? Um, that's like a demonstration of how powerful the thing is. Um, I should probably get another one of these just to put on here because this thing's pretty late. Um, yeah. Alright. Let's see. Here. We'll buy another one of those. Oh, what have we got here? Because I just went past it. Aha! Here we are. Let's do the bigger motor. Okay. Not that it really makes a difference in the weight. I don't know if it does or not. I don't know if they factor that in. That's an interesting idea. I don't know if they do that. I definitely got a lot more realistic in this game as far as certain stuff. So they very well might actually factor that in. Alright. Uh, let's hop out of this one. Let's get back in this. And pull the ramps here. Alright. And can I? I can't look at it anyway. Yeah, so I do have a toggleable siren for this, which is pretty sweet. Um, we are going to drop the plow here over. There we are. We'll drop the plow over there. I don't need that anymore. But um, overall, this truck is a really cool truck. I like it, and the fact of how it handles, it's not um, terribly like unbalanced or anything like some of the trucks I've seen. Some of them put a load in the back, and I literally just, it feels like the truck is, like, you're going to go around every time you go around a corner, or, you know, when you get it going, it's, like, scary, because it's like the truck doesn't, like, have enough weight to it, so it, like, doesn't know how to handle the load, so... It's nice to see one of these that's got a good amount of weight to it and, you know, still looks good, still functions well, and you can still use it. Um, 
I mean, other than that, really cool truck. I like it a lot. Um, let's see here. Let's see how fast we can get it up here. 132 says it tops out at. Let's see, 90. Ooh. Let's see how fast we can go up here. 109. Holy shit, I'm not gonna make that corner. Whoa! It's <laughs> about that bounce. Holy snap. Oh, we lost one. Oh my goodness. Oh shit. Let's go back and recover that tractor. Right, we're gonna veer. Oh, oh, oh. Let's veer. Let's see if we can get back up on the road. Oh, shit. On the right side, we have the lights and sirens to be able to go and retrieve that truck. I mean, uh, tra um, tractor. I don't know where the heck it went off to. I know I went around that corner real, real quick. Uh, ah, it must be up here. Let's see. There we are. That's down the road, shit. Cool siren kind of gets annoying after a while, though. There's a command tent, too. It's pretty sweet. Um, kind of weird. But, yeah. So. Alright. Let's, uh... Let's see here. Woo! Put the other one back up on here, and then we'll finish our little test ride here. But um, overall, I really like the truck. Um, like I said, I really don't have any complaints about it. Nice rig. Um, let's see what else. I mean, I just downloaded the thing, I, so really not much else I've seen as far as it seems to be a really cool, pretty solid truck. Uh, whew, interiors. Slick, that's nice. Um, the only thing that I would ding on this truck is my mirrors. That's it. From so looking at it like right away here. Um, other than that, thing works great. Excuse me. Um, let's see. Let's see. But, um, yeah, other than that, the only thing I'd say is the mirror. So I'd give it a 4.5 out of 5. Um, you guys know me. I'm usually not the one for giving a uh, 5 out of 5. So that's a pretty solid rate for this truck. Really a uh, good workhorse. Does well. Um, let's see without the, uh, without the trailer and see how quick it goes. Should go pretty quick. Yeah, let's see here. There we go. Goes right up to, uh, buck 35. Or if you need buck 32. Uh, let's see, yeah, let's back it off just a little bit. And turn on that siren. Oh, Christ, never fails for me to drive into a tree. Uh, let's see. Alright, let's see here. Wow. Eh, well, this got a pretty good pickup. Um, let's see here. Next video, I should be doing a, um... It's not a Battlefield 1 video, it's probably going to be a GTA 5 video. I just kind of got to figure out how I want to do it and what I want to do as far as it. Um, trying to get GTA 5 back up and running, like I said. Just kind of been down. I'm just trying to figure out how to uh, get it back up here. Oh, shit. But, um... Anyway guys, thank you for watching this video. Please do like, comment, and subscribe. Have a great day.